The ESP is a microbiology laboratory in a can, or in a sphere in this case. It samples the water and using various molecular techniques, it looks for either larvae or phytoplankton or bacteria, even viruses that are present in the water. We are getting ready to go to sea here, and uh, we have three engineers that are working on the deep ESP. That's the ball with the top half removed. There's the ESP inside of it, and they're doing some testing to uh, test its communications. We seal the ball with these O-rings. There are two of them, and uh, the, they're placing one of the O-rings in a groove, and there'll be a second one. And then in the next scene, you'll see the top of the ball and the face of that being prepared because we have to have a, a perfectly flat, clean seal in order to withstand the pressure that this ball is going to experience at depth. And here we are launching the deep ESP. It's, it's in this thing we call an elevator, and you'll see why in a moment. After we load the ESP over the side and we pull the cord, the ESP will take about 50 minutes to sink to the bottom which is at this site 1800 meters deep. So here we are looking at a screen in the control room. This is off the video of the remotely operated vehicle that flew down there to make sure that the ESP is sitting correctly and it see, we see it that it landed uh, very nicely. In this dive, the ESP remained on the bottom for about three days. I think it ran five samples looking for different microorganisms down there. Here you see the arm of the remotely operated vehicle pulling a, a, a little rope that releases a drop weight. When that 250-pound drop weight is released, suddenly the deep ESP becomes positively buoyant and floats to the surface. And since we uh, are in the sanctuary in Monterey Bay, we can't leave anything behind, so we built this special arm to recover the drop weight, which you see being done here. In this next shot, you'll see the ROV being recovered um, uh, into the Western Flyer. You see it lifted up here through the moon pool. And if you look closely at the front of the ROV, you'll see that specially designed arm and the drop weight hanging off of it there. Meanwhile, outside, we've spotted the deep ESP, and they send a rib boat out to sort of secure it and get a line to it, and we use the A-frame on the back of the Western Flyer to lift it back onto the deck. As soon as we get the ball on deck, we can plug in and simply download the data as though we were copying files from one computer to another. This is Jim Birch at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute.